Okay, in this module, we're going to look at what is the energy miser, how does it work, and most importantly, how will this product greatly help your customer base? So the energy miser uses a state-of-the-art technology to actively monitor and improve the power usage in a business. Our reduction system corrects the spikes in the electricity that companies pay for and creates a uniform leveled power draw, thereby converting the unusable wasted power to usable electricity. In other words, electricity is stored, flattened and released as needed, yielding optimal efficiency within the electrical system. We can see by this diagram in a very simple fashion how this works. The electricity comes in, again, inherent in it are the spikes and surges. It goes through the energy miser, where it is stored, flattened, and then released as needed to your equipment. This is a great diagram that represents in a very simple way how the energy miser works. Now the energy miser has some key functions that are very important to understand so that you, as a professional representative of this product, can confidently and comfortably explain the benefits with added security of what the product does. Let's start with point number one, which essentially is a magnetic phase balancing between the three phases of an electrical system. Very simply, the energy miser balances evenly the flow of current through three phases, yielding more efficient electricity, less waste, and unwanted noise. Secondly, there is inherent harmonic filtering of non-power currents. These are currents that are drawn, that are paid for, but are not usable. So the energy miser filters out these non-usable currents so that the business only draws usable power. Thirdly, we've got transient voltage conversion, which is another way of saying microsurge protection. Now instead of these surges being captured and then grounded, where they're wasted and cannot be reused, the energy miser actually converts them to usable power and redistributes them as usable power. Point number four is the power factor correction capabilities of the energy miser. Now a power factor is a complex formula where the utility companies penalize commercial and industrial users depending on how efficient their power factor is. What the energy miser does is increase that power factor to an optimal level so that these penalties can be eliminated. Now lastly, what the energy miser does is also removes the existence of harmful EMFs, which stands for electromagnetic frequencies. As you may know, these frequencies have been known or linked to cause cancer and lots of horrible diseases. Although this is not a numerical effect, it is a large selling point for any business owner that wants a healthy environment, and EMS actually provides EMF safe certificates so that these business owners can promote their healthy business environment. Now let's look at who our customers are and who will benefit from the energy miser. The real simple answer is any commercial user of electricity, quite frankly, just that. We typically look at users with electric bills of a minimum of $1,500 per month and the reason being is, is that these users will experience the most significant savings in dollar amount. Whereas once you start looking at below that, it's really hard for a business owner to contemplate a $30 or $40 a month savings. We want to focus on a minimum $1,500 businesses. And then what we want to also think about is something called inductive loads. Now inductive loads are defined as loads where the alternating load current lags behind the voltage. Now to put that in simpler words, inductive loads are any motors, pumps, really anything that shuts on and off, compressors, air conditioning, so on and so forth. Another way to think about inductive loads is anything other than lights and simple receptacles that power simple devices. What that means in essence then is that inductive loads make up generally anywhere from 75 to 85 percent of a business's electric bill. In here, we have an example of some common inductive loads, such as refrigeration and air conditioning. We can see some air conditioning units here on top of a building. Transformers, compressors, electric heat, pumps, dishwashers, disposables. Really any device powered with a motor, compressor, or pump. 
Now, in addition to the five key benefits of the Energy Miser that we went through, there are two factors that are not primarily intended, but because of what the Energy Miser does, are value added benefits that are in the system. They are very important to explain to any potential customer. The first is the increased equipment life that results by having the Energy Miser installed. Now, if you think about it, it really is that on and off behavior and those surges and spikes that hit the equipment from ongoing usage. With the Energy Miser, because we take these surges and flatten them, over time, the equipment does not get hit as much as it normally would and really will not suffer the same wear and tear that it would otherwise. How do we quantify or identify this? We can't, but typically and historically we've added anywhere from 3 to 5 years to kitchen equipment and anywhere from 7 to 10 years to large industrial scale equipment such as commercial freezers and custom manufacturing motors, pumps and so on. Secondly, Another feature that again has to do with these surges and spikes is the reduced peak load currents. As many of you will know, utility companies change different rates based on different times. This is what we refer to as peak loads. These are times when demand is highest and supply is lowest. Now, depending on how high these currents are in these peak loads, the electricity companies will vary the actual charge rates. Meaning during peak hours, if a business's electrical system is running really high, they will actually be charged a higher rate per kilowatt hour than the same company with lower currents. So by lowering these maximum currents, we also effectively lower what the utility companies will charge on a per kilowatt hour basis during peak load times. Sometimes this fact alone can yield anywhere from 5 to 7 percent in electricity savings. We're going to look at this further when you look at our purchase proposal overview. It's important for everybody to understand the Energy Miser's savings guarantee. Quite simply, if after the first 12 months from installing, there is not an average monthly reduction of at least 8% in kilowatt hour consumption or overall bill charge amount, the company will retroactively adjust the rent if they were to rent the system or purchase price if they were to purchase it to match the percentage savings between the actual reduction achieved and the guaranteed 8%. So if we look at an example in rental situation, let's say that the Energy Miser saved only 6%, and this can happen, even though it's rare, but it can happen in a situation where you have very little inductive load. So in this case, the rent will be retroactively decreased by 25%. That's because the savings were only 6%, which is 25% less than the 8%. Then, moving forward, that agreement will be amended and the new 25% discounted rental amount will be in effect. So, in other words, regardless of what happens, the customer will always have a relative 8% return on their investment. And if that's not the case, we will lower their cost of the system so that they still achieve the exact same ROI that we had presented them initially. To finish off, we wanted to go through an example of a couple of typical customers, current Energy Miser customers, to give you an idea of the broad spectrum of potential clients. So as we see, we've got obviously any type of food service business, whether it's a subway shop or a food market like associated food stores, an ice cream shop, or McDonald's. They benefit greatly from the Energy Miser because of the air conditioning systems in all of these. But more importantly, what differentiates them is the kitchens, with all of the equipment inherent and, of course, all of the refrigeration. Whether it be front presentation fridges or whether it be walk-in freezers and so on and so forth. And typically, anything food service related runs very, very high in inductive load. We can also look at hotels. Hotels benefit greatly. Again, they have a lot of temperature control for the air conditioning, which is a huge drain on their electrical bill. Things like elevators. Elevators are huge, huge expenses for these hotels. Constantly starting on and off. Constant drain on their electrical system. Of course, the kitchens and other smaller equipment that are present. Lastly, if we look at an example here, ProFlowers, which is a national distributor of flowers, is a great example because it's essentially a mega freezer. 
It's a warehouse that houses flowers and obviously this has to be temperature controlled. Their bills are probably about 95% inductive load and they've seen excellent results with the Energy Miser. So this will just give you a sort of broad spectrum of the types of customers. Car dealerships, again, any type of food service facilities, any type of manufacturing, whatever scale. Manufacturing are constant motors. Car washes, which are typically multi-unit owned, and really it's all around you. All you have to do is look around, and as you get more comfortable with the concept, you'll see that really everybody's a customer. So hopefully this gives you a good overview of what the product is, how it works, and how it can help your customer. We hope and wish you lots of luck and success.